like the pizza rolls? Wild. They taste like cheeseburgers. Mm. Tala, it appears you don't like me. No such thing as a lemon lime. Roy Weatherby has produced the most modern, accurate, and beautiful rifle of our time. Like the Kentucky and the first repeating rifle, it is writing its own page in history. The designer and inventor of the Weatherby rifle pioneered ultra-high velocity and is today the only independent manufacturer of rifles in our country. You know, Roy, it's been over 15 years since you started your basic experiments in the back of your garage. Yes, and I'm very grateful for the acceptance of my rifles throughout the world. And it's been fun developing these rifles every minute of it. Because I'm a hunter and I like to feel that I've made a needed contribution to my fellow sportsmen. My father was one of those rare individuals that was really able to just take a hobby and make a business of it. He loved to hunt. It had been a way of life for him, and he began experimenting on his own with taking a smaller bullet and moving it faster. He found that uh, it had more killing power than the traditional guns and cartridges of the day, which had a heavier bullet moving slower. He had no formal training in ballistics. Uh, he just did a lot of trial and error and went on hunting trips. He went to Africa for really months at a time testing his cartridges on all different types and sizes of African game and uh, proved his theory. And that's really what got him started in the business. I think what he did is he created a product that enabled other people to really live out their dreams as hunters. Hunting changed. And hunting in general changed as a result of what my grandpa was able to introduce and so he made possible kind of the fulfillment of those dreams that a lot of hunters had. Roy Weatherby was brought into the world in the year 1910 at the height of America's invention age. The famous Wright Brothers aviation business was in its infancy and Henry Ford's Model T had just been introduced. Raised on a farm in rural Kansas, young Roy quickly learned the value of hard work, and the cobalt blue skies over the expansive prairie offered a window into Roy's future and a chance to dream. And as Roy grew, so did his passion for wildlife and wild places. Hunting was a way of life for my father. Uh, you know, he grew up a uh, son of a poor farmer. But one of the things that, that he learned early on and that he passed on to me was just the, the ethics of hunting and uh, to not be wasteful. He was so passionate about what he did. It wasn't just a job, it was, it was his life. Put blood, sweat, and tears into this business to be what it's at today. And so to be the third generation coming into this company, it's truly a legacy. A legacy started by my grandfather, Roy Weatherby, and a legacy that I hope to continue on as we're coming up to 70 years that we've been in existence. It's, it's I think, really here because of the drive and determination. Eight years ago, you were an insurance salesman, and now you're running a gun manufacturing business that's known throughout the world. Now, Mr. Weatherby, we'd like to know just how all this happened. Well, I'll tell you, Ken, you know, everybody has a hobby, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a hobby, too. <laughs> Mine happened to be guns and ballistics. And I studied guns and ballistics as much as I could. And, and uh, about eight years ago, I wrote an article for one of the outdoor magazines about high-velocity rifles that I had been building. And, you know, I got 500 letters in one month, and I had never received that many letters in all my <laughs> life. Uh -huh. And so I thought, well, if there's that many people interested, why, maybe I was in the wrong business. Inquisitive and always looking to refine his ideas, Roy began redefining sporting calibers and the ballistics theories of big game hunting. Weatherby's humble beginnings were fueled by an ingenious idea and an overwhelming desire to succeed. If you just even look at the design of our cartridges and the design of our rifles, uh, they were very different for the time when he was uh, first developing those. And he didn't really care. 
He just wanted to develop what was best, regardless of what it cost to make. It, it just needed to be a better mousetrap. At the time, there was a lot of history and tradition in the cartridges that were available in the uh, late 40s. And so his cartridges were, were pretty revolutionary for the time. So now, Roy, there must have been something pretty revolutionary about your idea. What is the basic difference in a, a Weatherby rifle? Well, the basic difference is the velocity of the bullet. You see, the bullet travels much faster because we have a larger cartridge case, which uh, has more powder and makes the projector go faster, which means a lot more killing power and a lot easier to hit your animal because the trajectory is so much flatter and then it has so much more velocity when it actually gets there. He wanted to make sure that, that what he produced and his ideas, that it was, that they were right on. And we have sayings today here at Weatherby, uh, nothing shoots flatter, hits harder, is more accurate. Uh, that's slogans in recent years, but honestly, that's since the 1940s. That's, that's the way my grandpa started this company. The success of California-based Weatherby firearms became a buzz in the firearm industry. Roy's combination of his trend-setting rifle, magnum loads, and irresistible romance with hunting big game began attracting an A-list of film and television celebrities into the world of Weatherby. What in tarnation is going on here? Must be a trap to catch Black Bart. Didn't I tell you ain't nobody gonna catch him but me and Rory and Lizzie here? Guns have always been a part of action-adventure movies, and many of the stars who played these heroes of war and western were men who lived a bold life, both on and off the big screen. How many men have you shot since you became a marshal, Mr. Godwin? Shot or killed? Roy Weatherby rubbed elbows with Hollywood's elite, men like the Duke, John Wayne, Roy Rogers, and more. A who's who cross-section of America's most talented gravitated to Weatherby's entrepreneurial talents, his new Mark V rifle, and recognized hunting prowess. With nearly a half a century of proven performance, the Weatherby Mark V bolt-action assembly has no equal. When we hear Weatherby or the Weatherby family, I think of, of more than just our immediate family, those of us with the last name of Weatherby. The Weatherby family is really a team of people that are working hard to, to still inspire the dreams of hunters and shooters by, by making the best that we can to really make that hunting experience happen, that shooting experience. And so here at Weatherby, we have a number of, of people employed at our facility here in Paso Robles, California. Um, and we just have an incredible, if not the best team that we've ever had. His passion for hunting and love for wildlife was forefront, and giving back to the sport and traditions he cherished so much led to conservation efforts, fundraising, and ultimately the prestigious Weatherby Hunting and Conservation Award. Back in the early years of my father in business, he had a friend and a partner, Herb Klein, that was a magnificent hunter and hunted all over the world, and he wanted to, in some way, recognize what he had done in, the, in his lifetime achievement of hunting. And that's where my dad first came up with the Weatherby Big Game Trophy Award. Since the first award presentation to Herb Klein in 1956, the annual Weatherby Gala continues to celebrate Roy E. Weatherby's Hunting and Conservation Award, an honor which continues to stand as the premier achievement in the hunting world. Through the award, through the products that he made, conservation really has taken off in the last 20, 30 years. And I think that's something that's neat about the legacy that he left is that it's continuing on today, not just in whether we incorporate in the products that we make, but in the conservation that's taking place through the foundation. Tonight is the 57th annual award dinner. The name of Weatherby has always been synonymous with the ultimate. The pinnacle of what we do in the hunting fields. As we go into the future and people think of Weatherby, I don't want them to just see a product uh, that the company produces, but rather it's a way for us to help them live out their dreams in the hunting and shooting sports. And uh, we really feel that we're a part of that.
You know, hunting's more than just an animal. It's more than just a gun. Hunting's an experience, and um, uh, some of my greatest memories in my life were hunting with my father, just as he hunted with his father. And now I'm doing that again, with kind of the fourth generation, with my boys hunting. And uh, the memories, you know, sitting in a deer stand and just having a conversation with your dad um, that just doesn't happen at home. You know, there's a lot of memories out there that get to take place with, you know, the word Weatherby stamped on the side of a barrel that's out there in the field. And we get to be a part of that, and, and family's a big part of that. The man who was Roy Weatherby took an idea and through innovation and inspiration, revolutionized big game hunting. Weatherby's high velocity Magnum ammunition led the way to his unique Mark V rifle and its proprietary action. The legacy of Roy Weatherby lives not only in his family's third generation of gun craftsmen, but in his extended family of outdoor enthusiasts, big game hunters who honor Roy and his passion with every chambered round, every squeeze of the trigger, every successful hunt. Roy Weatherby's legacy echoes around the world. The Weatherby name is synonymous with excellence in firearms technology, wildlife conservation, and hunting excellence. Roy built his empire with a dream, a dream that continues to resonate with each report of his legendary Weatherby Mark V rifle. The letters I received from every corner of the globe, and the friends I've made, has been really a rich reward. And rest assured, progress will continue here at Wednesday. Progress and friends, that's our business.